Hello, once again, thank you for watching. This is Robin Friend City Sewing. This time we have here our most popular machine, um, the CT8700. Um, this is our basic machine with um, a direct drive motor, automatic track trimmer, LED light. We're gonna turn it on now. Um, I wanted to show you here the basics, you know, the most basic um, uh, functions on this machine right here. Right now, um, um, as you can see, right now what we have is A, B, C, D, and just a line of stitches on the top. What that means is that we have selected the stitch. This button here is just to straight stitches. So if you want to use that that button there, all you have to do is the machine is just going to sew straight. As you can see, it will not cut the thread. It will not do anything else. Now, if you want to activate it, on the machine the trimming so that the machine when you finish sewing it will cut automatically all you have to press is the scissor right here the little trimmer you're gonna show you right on the screen it's gonna show you the little trimmer so now if I sew the machine will automatically cut the thread as you can see it will cut and lift the foot up so that's that's basically uh, uh, one of the most important features that machine has um, is that little scissors that will sew and after you step back on your foot pedal the machine will cut remember you have to step back on your foot pedal every time you want to train the machine um, on the second uh, functions I want to show you right over here which are the most important one will be the first one here um, if you click one time you get one bar tack on the machine you're gonna see on the screen it will show you if you keep pressing you're gonna get a three times bar tacking so the machine's gonna go back come back go back and come back again so you're gonna see now how the stitches are gonna go back and forth three times and then the machine keep going now because I don't have the second bar tacking stitches on when I cut it will only bar tack on the front as you can see you have the bar tack on the front but you don't have it at the end because we have not turned on the bar tacking at the end. We are going to back up, turn it on now. So I'm gonna select this button here, which is gonna allow the machine to bar tack every time I finish. So I keep pressing one, two, three. I'm gonna bar tack. When I begin, when I finish cutting, the machine is also gonna bar tack. It's at the beginning and at the end. Now. This is if you want to really reinforce it three times the bar tacking. But normally, what you're gonna do actually, you're just gonna use it two times. So what I'm gonna do, if you keep going, you're gonna see on the screen that it's gonna disappear, both of them. So what you wanna do, you try one time, and you try one time in both of them, and, and you stitch and see if you like it. You see how the machine only bar tacks one time at the beginning, and one bar tack at the end. One time at the beginning and one time at the end. If you press it again, it's gonna do it two times. So now you check this one here. You can see now that the machine is by tacking two times. Instead of before, the machine was by tacking three times. Right here. Now it's only two times. So it doesn't give you that many stitches, um, you know, when you by tacking. Um, on the second one here, it's also a nice, um, neat function that you could use when you want to as you can see the machine every time you stop the machine stops and the needle is down but the foot is also down so if you want what you could do is by turning this function here what the machine is going to do that every time you stop your needle is going to be down but then your foot is going to go up that way if you have to make corners see how the needle goes up every time you stop the needle goes, the foot goes up, but your needle stays down. So it's easy to make corners. It's very easy. For this kind of a function, as you can see, you're always gonna get a perfect corners. That is when you have your pressure foot selected up and down. If you don't want it, every time you stop, your foot is up. Every time you stop, your foot goes up. Now you could turn it off again. As you can see, when you turn it on, we show you the function right over here. So every time you stop, if I turn it off, 
the machine stop and the food is going to stay down. So this is this is one of the most important functions right here. One, two, and three. In here, you have what is called the menu, the menu selected. You're going to select. When you select this one here, the first stitch you're going to have, the machine is just going to amount, stitch that amount of length that you gave it to us. When you cut, that's all the machine does. Why you want to use that function? Sometimes you just need to bar tag anything, a little, you know, it could be a label, anything that you just want to bar tag it one, two, three, four times, depending how many stitches you want to put in it. That's all the machine's going to do. If you keep pressing on the M, you're going to get here now. What it's actually showing you is, is a square. So what that means is that you could set the machine. Let's say you want to put a label and you want the machine to go 20 stitches this way, 10 stitches this way, 20 stitches this way, and 10 stitches this way. You could command the machine to do that. So every time you press your foot control, you're just going to have the amount of stitches you want on it. One, two, three, four, and then it will automatically cut. It's making actually 20 stitches, 10 stitches, 20 stitches, and 10 stitches. That's mainly what you're doing if you want to do labels with it. One, two, three, four, and it cuts. So I am not stopping the machine automatically. The machine does it by itself every time you have the square on. The next function is going to be here. You're going to see like it. Why? It means that it shows you like a, like a back pocket. So the machine will start. Go down, so, so, go up, up, and then finish. That will give you seven different stitches that you could do if you're making something, you know, that is not a square, you know, you want to go eight times or seven times. You could command the machine to do it. So I'm going to try it so you can see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the machine will cut the thread automatically. So those are functions that you could do, but that's not, this is the less things that you have to worry about. It Make sure that every time you, you're working with a machine, if this, you make, make the pattern, it's okay, but the most important part with this is just every time you go anywhere and you're confused, just select this first stitch on the top, and the machine will go automatically go back to the regular stitching. So every time you change the functions and you're not sure what you're doing, you just gotta press this button right here, it show you the stitches, the machine goes back to straight stitch. Here, what the rest of these buttons are going to be, it's going to be this one here, the first one on the top. Actually, what happened with that is every time you finish cutting, the foot stays up, as you can see. Every time you start finish and you sew and you cut, the foot stays up. You have to move the needle up without touching the wheel. We just select this button here. It shows you the needle up or needle position. So you select here and you could, every time the needle starts, you could just push it up and you don't have to touch the wheel right here. That's one function. This one right here, it's just that you will have to go inside the machine. What that does is actually counting the type, the, the amount of stitches you are making, how many stitches you're making. Um, you know, let's say you want to calculate how many stitches you make in one specific garment. You could go inside the computer with that little, you know, uh, instruction that you have, and you could select it, and then you will tell you how many stitches you put into that garment. That's when you want, you, you're counting how many stitches you want to do, how many uh, uh, fabric or thread or whatever you're using in one garment. That's exactly what's going to do. Up here, this one here, it's a function that is not able for these machines. So right now, this function is enabled. This one is also enabled because the same computer we use for different type of models that use different type of function. With this one, we don't need that. The second one here, very important, when you have that on and off, but that's going to screw actually every time you cut your stitches. If you look, that has a little arrow pointing to the right. What that means is that when you start sewing, the first three stitches, the machine is going to go start slowly and then it's going to go up to the speed that the machine is set up to. You can see the machine is going to make the three first stitches slow and then it goes to the high speed. So, what that does, what, what that helps you is that every time you're starting something to sew, you're going to sew slow and then shh, the machine will start going fast. Another function that you have here will be this one here. Um, the, the one that has the scissors pretty clear, if you turn that off, the machine will not cut the material. It will just not cut, as you can see. You sew, but it doesn't cut. Well, of course it's not gonna cut when you have that, that tension off. So you turn it on, 
and then the machine will cut again. Numbers here, what it means is how many times this machine is going to bark tack every time you start. So if I make it three, we only go three stitches to the back and then we'll go forward. Right now, since I have it with the seven stitches, I will show you. So as you can see, the stitch gets very long, the bar tacking. So that's many stitches you get every time the machine bar tack. Normally, everybody uses it in three. Hey, brother. Three means that the machine will bar tack three times for you. That's no moment where you're gonna use it on. Now, um, one thing it's important for you to notice when you wanna change the speed on the machine, how fast the machine goes or how slow it goes. Well, by pressing the P button, you goes you goes into pattern number zero one. This is the most popular stitch pattern I select, you know, and, and people I recommend to use. You press S and then once you press pattern and you press S, this is the how many stitches. What I'm going to do, I'm going to into pattern, select, this is the speed is on. It's important that you have to remember that every time you change the speed on the machine, let's say if I change it right now into 1000, I have to press S, then the machine will start working. As you can see, the speed is very slow right now. So I'm going to P, select, this is pattern number one. I go to speed, and then I change the speed to 3,000 stitches per minute. Then I press save, and then it's already the pattern being saved. So we go back. So that's basically it. Pattern number one. You have pattern, you have pattern number two, you have pattern number three, number four, number five, number six. Those are patterns that are made for different type of machines. Those patterns, if you read the instruction slowly, you could practically understand and see exactly what the means. But this is gonna be the most important one. Pattern number one, select the speed that you want it to, if you think it's too fast. You could go down two, you could go to you could go up 2500 stitches per minute, select to save the stitch pattern you went to, and then your machine is gonna be up to 2000 stitches per minute. Um, like any other commercial, you know, heavy duty machine, you know, 25 to 2800 stitches per minute, it's what most of the books recommend to use it. 28, 27, 25, somewhere around there you should be able to do a lot of production during the day using the stitch pattern. Um, so that's basically covered it. Just, you know, M to select, you know, the square stitches to select the eight different stitches you want. Um, this one to select the straight stitch. The E one here, I didn't mention to you. E means that if you select that one, what you're gonna do is you're gonna tell the machine how many stitches you wanna do every time you step. So when you start sewing, the machine will do, only do the amount of stitches you set it to do. As you can see, I only select the foot pedal one time, the machine will go and will automatically stop, cut the thread and the foot lift up. Even though I keep the presser foot down, the machine will only go the amount of stitches you could set it to, three, four, five, six, seven, ten, whatever you want to set it up to. Go to stitch pattern and you can select it. So remember, every time you're working on the machine, go to stitch straight stitch and then you go back to your normal function this is your stitch length here it's pretty simple just you know just um push this level here and then you could change the stitch length to whatever you want from mm -hmm. zero to five here we have the led light you could turn it off if you don't want to see it or you could turn it on if you want to see it um those are the the the, the function now in here, you have the manually bar tack. So instead of it doing it by hand here, while you're working, if you want, while you're stitching, you can press here and use the bar tack. Threading is basically the same like any other room machine. Here you have your bobbin winder, which is a very, very great feature. The machine has an integrated um, bobbin winder. So if you want to do the bobbin here, you just put it in, you know, go through your tensions here, put it in, 
and the machine will automatically do it. Remember, this machine doesn't have any belt. The motor is built into it. Okay, thank you for watching. This is Robin from City Sewing. Uh, we hope um, that this video could, you know, um, walk you through the little things that you uh, might not understand. Uh, but remember, if you have any questions, if you're not sure what to do and you you are kind of confused, you can always call us at the store. You could send us an email at info.citysewing.com. You could call our number at 212-268-0409. Um, you know, Madiel, Ovi, me, whoever the, is here in the store could help you with these um, questions that you might have, any any concern that you might have. But, you know, this is basically um, a standard. Like I said, there are functions here that you're not going to use. So don't worry about some buttons that you see there. Because, like I said before, these send computer is used for all the different models that require different stitching patterns so um don't worry about the, the, the patterns that you you see over there that you're not gonna be using okay um once again thank you for watching robin from city song bye bye